Well, first, they would realize that much of their own behavior and the behavior of others is not intentional. And when we see behavior that's reactive or a child who is in state of tantrum or out of control, we want to tell the child, get in control, calm yourself. We're not respectful that the dysregulated behavior is a naturally occurring property of being in a physiological state of threat. So the secret is once we understand polyvagal theory, we realize that the controlling or the mitigation of threat behaviors is literally through signals of safety to the nervous system and not more signals of greater threat to that child or adult's nervous system. So we broadcast our physiological state in voice, facial expressivity. And that is really the journey that made uh, mammals social. So we are social beings. We broadcast our physiological state and we detect physiological state in others from voice and from facial expressivity. So your earlier question is how would a, a person who's not a professional use polyvagal theory? Well, they would understand the other person's physiological state by face and voice, and that would give them cues or signals of how to interact. So when a voice is prosodic and melodic and the face is opening, we feel accessible and welcoming. And then we feel we can talk to the person and we basically, the building blocks of trust. But when a voice has lacks prosodic features and the face is flat, we may like what people are saying, but we may not like that person. So the, the part is that we learn to understand that we are signalers of the state of our nervous system to others and others signal their state back to us. And when we signal them with prosodic voices and facial expressivity of accessibility, those are signals of safety that are wired into our nervous system. And then we become more welcoming to them. That creates a type of co-regulation, which is healthy. It takes us out of states of threat that interfere with the homeostatic, our health, growth, and restoration processes, and enables those systems to work more efficiently. So through sociality, we become healthier.